Okay, my wonderful friends, another shocker du jour. Today I am about to offend a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, from this side to that side. If you're not an open-minded thinker, you're, you're probably going to get mad at me, because I am going to expose things that were in mythology. I mean, I'm talking about deep, deep mythology that, that explained what actually did happen in the ancient past and the mud fossils now and the geology of mud fossils that backs up all the statements that they made. They weren't just making up things to scare kids. Now, Avi Loeb has the Galileo project going from Harvard and he's looking for extraterrestrial life and now at the end of this video i'll have some clips that are strictly for him well they're for anybody but i really want him to pay attention to this so it's going to be very short and i'm going to show you a few clips but this is his project and here's what he has to say all right now this is astrophysics and this is harvard Okay, they, they just had a party for their one-year anniversary of this group consortium that's looking for something that's extraterrestrial. Now, and I have shown that I have those things, and I actually have biology that came out of space. Now, listen to what he has to say. It's such a great privilege and pleasure to see 70 members of the Galileo Project team coming together, celebrating the past year accomplishments of the project. And uh, we are just at the beginning, uh, because in the coming year we hope to collect data and find out what it shows. Uh, we, we make no assumptions, we are completely agnostic, but it seems like the government is telling us that there are some exciting objects out there that we need to figure out what they are. Exactly. Not only are they out there, they're all over the earth. Now, what I am showing supports that there is extraterrestrial who knows what. So, he's the only guy I can see that's really interested in looking for. All right, I have lungs in every state of preservation. They can be completely stripped down, all the alveoli holes wide open. They still have blood in them, though. They always have blood way inside. This one is a lung that was DNA tested, CAT scanned, no question whatsoever. It is, and it is a human lung, and it is flat as a pancake because it happened during this flood time, and it dried out after a hot flood. Now, what I want you to see is the fabric. When they preserve in the most exquisite way, such as this one, this is absolutely flawless. You can almost transplant this thing. <laughs> you see these white fibers? What I'm going to show you in a second is a meteorite that came through space. This little one here, it's iron meteorite. All right, you see it's magnetic. Now, I'm going to show you there's actually blood in there, and I just did a real long video about this and there is actually blood in here and I can tell no question whatsoever because the catalase is still in there which is an enzyme it's only an enzyme created by biology and in, in this case it's a lung that's the biology so I, I'm going to just show you and I'm hoping that somebody will pay attention Avi Loeb apparently is looking at his Galileo project I'm hoping he'll take a, uh, take a shot at this and, and I'll show him what I have we'll go from there all right this is the little iron meteorite and you see these these are the little alveoli holes these are the little bits left over of those white fabrics again they're the cheap stuff they burn right off these are the alveoli and there's still blood in these now this is just magnets all right just so i can show you that it's magnetic and it's an iron meteorite and it, it and again it's it's iron it's not it's not a magnet it is iron which is magnetic all right two different things now let's um come down here and look into that cavity right there well let me come down real close and see what it actually looks like down inside hold on oh i think i did show you the tab the latch you see when it dries out you really can't it's hard to see a lot of stuff anyway let me that's the latch right there 
Let me see if I can adjust it in over. I think that's pretty clear. That's the latch. Well, the same one I showed you on all of them. And again, it's a long. And we're going to be looking inside the biggest cavity here. And that's, I, I put a little moisture on it. I mean, you can see it's pretty wet. Let me just focus in. All right, so here we are with that little tiny iron meteorite. And these, this is the cavity. This is one of the biggest cavities. And you see the little holes going down in here? That fed all of the alveoli. Now, it still has some of these tiny little fabric white ones, but most primarily are burnt off. And it's smelted down to where it has become magnetic. You know, it's become iron. Let's put, put it that way. Now, I believe there's still DNA in there. Now, I'm not going to test it. I, I've done DNA testing on three different samples. Nobody would give me the time of day. Now, I'm hoping the Ivy Loeb will pay attention to this. This is what he's looking for. This is what I got. And I have it right here in my shop. And not only that, I have the giant ones from that giant fingertip. I believe I showed you that. And that came through space, too. Of that, there is no question either. So, to me, this is a new day. And hopefully that we're going to be able to explore this in a rational way rather than just reject it because we're afraid. You see the cavities going into the, the little holes there? That's how you breathe. This is, was a, an oxygen breathing creature at one point. And the blood is leaked out. And some of the fabric is still here. But right in there is where the blood was. All right, this is just a test. I just scratched that little stuff out of that blood vessel right there, out of the um, alveoli. Now, what I'm going to do is put some hydrogen peroxide in here. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. That means it has an extra oxygen. And you have stuff in your blood that's supposed to reject that extra oxygen if it's truly blood it should foam up like crazy now it may not be able to foam up coming through space it may have cooked that enzyme off but maybe it will who knows and it's going to oh, there it goes I can see it bubbling there is catalase in there Let's keep watching it for a while. Watch the bubbles come out. You see, it's, it's filtering down into where the enzymes are in the blood. I'll put a little more in there. This is exciting. This is actually literally biology from space, my friends. And this is actually wet red blood down inside there. Now watch. You see where the blood would be down inside there? Why are these bubbles coming out? This is where you have to understand chemistry. You have to understand the biology. You have to understand literally everything about how chemistry works inside a biological organism. It's spitting out all of that oxygen. And why? Because H2O2 is not H2O. H2O is water. That's fine. No problem with water. Wow, look at this thing. It's just, just uh, I believe that's just a chunk of blood coming out of there, but... It almost looks alive. <laughs> but this is, it, there, there's blood in here. And you see it's coming out of any, everywhere where there's, there's holes that leak down into the alveoli where there is still blood. And now if I put more and more in here, it'll keep, keep coming out more and more because it's penetrating in. But you see, it doesn't, there's nothing coming around here. It's only where the blood is. And that's because the enzyme that is in the blood says, I don't want any oxygen in here. I, want, I don't want any excess of oxygen. It's called rea ROS, reactive oxygen species. This enzyme, which is catalase, is part of your body. It's built into your, your blood system. It says, if I see anything that has an extra oxygen, break it off and get it out of here. Blow it out of here. And, and it does. 
Why don't just keep going for, for, for as much blood as in here? And it's the thing is saturated with blood. If you broke that in half, it just it could very likely bleed. I'm serious. There is that much blood in these things. Some of them are, are, are just unbelievable amount of blood. Okay, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm hoping Avi Loeb will contact me. This is the Galileo Project. They're all looking for this stuff. I have actually literally blood from space. Now, I don't think this little iron meteorite is from a human being. I, can't, I don't know what it's from. But there's DNA in here. I can tell you that for no question whatsoever. Now, would it be complete strands? I have no idea. But I have found the things that they are talking about looking for. And I, I really, really, really want to engage and get this open to the public and be able to discuss it openly. And he's the only one I've seen in academia that appears to have the mindset that will allow this. So Avi Loeb, please, sir. I'm here and I'm 100% willing to, to work with you in any way you'd like. And I am not far from you. I am in Connecticut, so I know you're in Massachusetts, and I know you travel, so I'm here.